Eiffel Tower. Okay, 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 put it down, put it down. Hello and welcome back to another Reality Check 3D printer video review. Today we're looking at the Creality Ender 2. This is of course an upgrade from the Ender 1. Uh, the Ender 2 has a 150 millimeter by 150 millimeter by 200 millimeter tall build size volume, and it's capable of printing a whole vast of uh, different items, a variety of different items. Uh, you can do, you know, obviously vase mode, and it's very nice and strong. You can do simple uh, small structures such as the, the Eiffel Tower in great detail. You can do things like Batman and, and Obama and of course the cat that comes with it. This printer is very capable, especially considering that it has with it a heated bed and it's a very just nice, tight, simple little device. So um, to get this thing going, to get it out of the box, it takes about maybe 30 minutes to put together, maybe an hour if it takes a little longer for some people. Um, I basically just turned on Netflix and started watching some Beastmaster. And while I watched the show, uh, I, I built this printer. So uh, we'll show a little time lapse of the build of the printer. Okay, and once we got this printer put together, I mean, it, it, it didn't take so long. What I found kind of odd about it is you do have this power supply that kind of sticks out on the edge here. Um, this piece is something that you might be able to attach to the side here if you got some other uh, 3D printed add-ons or something. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do exactly with this. Uh, other than that, the whole printer is just very, very uh, precise and tight. Uh, I did have to actually tighten some screws on the bottom of the heat bed here, and that made it so that it wasn't so wobbly, and it was much easier to uh, put back and forth. The one thing about this heat bed, though, is it does have three screws, not four, when you're actually leveling it on bottom. So um, leveling it is a little bit more difficult than if you had four screws. I wish that it had four level points, um, but even so, it doesn't take very long, and it's pretty easy to do. Uh, if you want some direction on how to do that, we'll go ahead and actually go into some detail uh, on exactly what we need to do for that. Okay, so when you want to start printing, you just flip the switch and it turns on the screen. Once it uh, says Ender, you can just click in the button and of course you can go to Prepare, Control, Print from SD, and when you go into Prepare, you've got the ability to go to Bed Auto Leveling. From there, you can go from Next to Next to Next, which will then put the nozzle where it needs to on the bottom platform, and that will make it very easy for you to actually find the proper level point. Another thing about this printer you want to keep in mind is that it does have an MK10 nozzle on here. That's the exact same nozzle that's on the CR10 as well as the CR10 Mini. So it works really, really well. It's very, very good at putting the filament out at a nice precise level. So you don't have to worry too much once you get it set after that point. I mean, I haven't had to level it more than one time since I got all these pieces printed. So it works really well. I think it's great for people who have either a small area, a small office, uh, of course, once again, for teachers, anyone who you know wants to be able to show people how to get a printer working you know, pretty easily and quickly, this is a great device to do that. 
Okay, to make this video quick, I'm gonna just basically just show you some of the close-ups of the different pieces that I've made already. As I said, this is really a great little printer, especially if you just wanna get introduced into printing and you wanna print small things. Uh, you really cannot go wrong with it. I haven't had any failed prints once I got it leveled. So uh, go ahead and take a look for yourself and I hope this video helped you out in some way. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.